I had a very good childhood. I was living on a big block of land and had access to paddocks around me, playing in the paddocks, swimming in summer. So it was a pretty good childhood. Um, my childhood was uh, actually wonderful. I came from migrant parents who came to Australia and we settled in Bell Park. So we had the run of all the paddocks and places around us because there was hardly any homes. All the local kids, we would gather together, build tree houses and have great fun. Life growing up was a lot of fun actually. We used to come down here just on the weekends after school, ride motorbikes and ride horses and animals and had great times playing on the farm. Childhood growing up for me, not a farming background, but certainly um, from the country in, in Western Australia. So a really simple kind of wholesome life, lots of time with family, lots of time riding our push bikes around. We actually met at a very young age at a wedding. I got invited uh, with the bride's family and you were invited by the groom's family. And she was the only good looking chick there. So we had a good conversation all night. And I think I was 16 and you were 18. And the relationship blossomed after that, till this very day. We met in Melbourne, <laughs> uh, in South Melbourne. I was on a Bucks Day and Nadine was on a Hens Day. And we both- but All good uh, marriages are born. Yeah, at a pub called the Golden Gate Hotel in Melbourne. Fortunately, after about 20 years of practice, we uh, managed to buy this property. Well, Peter always had um, a yearning to buy property. He loved properties. He wanted, it was his dream to get a farm one day. And we were visiting my brother who was living not far from here. And he was rummaging through the Geelong Advertiser and thought, oh, look at this lovely property. Let's go now. Straight away, you know, impromptu. Let's go and have a look at it. We drove in here, actually we didn't drive in here because everything was overgrown, it was a derelict property. And we climbed the fence, nothing was here. And when we saw that view, we said, this has got to be ours. And it was a derelict property, so there's a lot of work. So most of our weekends were spent down here establishing it. We were both working in Melbourne before we uh, had Bay Wines. Nadine was a pharmaceutical rep, I was working in a diesel engine business um, so we did that for what seven or eight years before yeah. we decided to move down to Geelong permanently. Simon encouraged Peter to start a little vineyard and we said well let's do a trial run and we did one at the start of the property there where the cottage is and it did so well that uh, you turned around and he said well look if this is going so well we might as well put a little bit extra in. We put in the f uh, five acres and uh, I said, okay, we'll go ahead. Think, not realizing the amount of work that was involved. Then we did the 10 acres, so we had 15 acres. And from then it has been all hard work, but, yeah. but very rewarding. I don't think we could have done it without all the family contributing. No. No if we had had somebody to do it for us, it would have been, the cost would have been prohibitive. It was pretty humble beginnings. It was me and a baby, you working in the vineyard and me talking to people about our wine and what we were doing and it was born as you said. My average day is to come and inspect the, prop, the vines, see if there's anything uh, happening in terms of disease pressure or insects, look after the aesthetics of it, look after the grasses and lawns to make sure it's looking good for the next wedding. With my two assistants, the two dogs. Well, Peter tends to the vines more. I do the gardening side with a lot of instructions for Peter. My role with the wedding, well, it, it, once again, it's a family concern. It's uh, Peter, myself and Lauren, our daughter, who's very much involved with it. They come out here and uh, examine the place. Then if they choose Bay Wines, then we actually work with them for their whole wedding. Working with family is always fun. Nadine and I work pretty well together. We, we're always bouncing ideas off each other. And I think I use you as the, a sounding board to go, oh, this has come up, what do you think? I would say I'm probably more optimistic about things than you are. So you'll kind of be the realist who says, oh, that's not such a great idea, or 
that's probably not going to work because I'm always like, yeah, we could do this, this would be great. So that's probably quite good in our partnership. I spend a lot of my time on the road. So we primarily work with restaurants and wine stores, talking to them about our wine, seeing if it might be of use or of interest to kind of match with their food and with their menus and whatnot, and obviously delivering wine to those restaurants. We host pop-up cellar doors, so they're kind of really big weekends where we get to throw a ripper party and bring in local chefs and kind of all of the amazing staff that always come back and work with us and have big weekends like that. The rest of it, I suppose, is yeah, kind of planning for the future in terms of, you know, sort of where, where we're going with Bay Wines. A normal day at Bay Wines for me looks like uh, driving out to the vineyard here at uh, Kerr Lewis and um, checking on the health of the vines. Um, it's different at different times of year, obviously. There's uh, the winter time when the vines are dormant, we're pruning. Um, and then in spring we're concentrating on keeping them healthy. Sort of late summer time we, uh, we're thinking about uh, harvest and getting those vines ripe and the grapes ripe um, so that we can get them in peak condition for harvest. What I know about wine compared to other 12 year olds, well I know a bit, I know like all the types of wine because <laughs> mum always is on the phone about talking to other people about it. Also we have all these vineyards and not many other people do which is really good. I like coming to the cellar door because like all the local people come like my friends and their families and then you get really good food and music and I can always have fun with my friends playing on the hay bales. The Bay Insider program was something that we came up with probably a little over a year ago and we'd been trying to work on ways to say thank you to people who have either come to a cellar door or tried our wine or gotten married here. Yeah, we came up with a program that allows people to buy wine online and they get perks like free delivery and then we put reward dollars back into their account when they've purchased something so they can use that the next time they want to buy some wine. Hopefully, you know, people know how special they are to us. I've been at some of the Bay Insider events. In fact, I was at the 2019 Vintage launch and I can honestly say it was such a, a great vibe there, a real sense of community. I almost felt like you're at one of the Cook's family birthday parties. And all the VIPs were provided with free wine and beautiful local food and music. It was just a real sense of community. Really, for us, Bay Wines is about excellence in viticulture, which is reflected in beautiful wines. Wine brings people together for celebrations and um, for a special moment. So um, being able to provide a product that allows for that's really, really quite a privilege. I think it's certainly the blood, sweat and tears of our family is, is in every bottle. And we're really proud of that. And we love that we're pretty hands-on with the entire process. So that what people get is our pride and joy.